Well, getting mental health help can be stressful right now, and demand is high. Accessing services is a struggle. For this Mental Health Awareness Week, our Hannah Brandt sat down with two experts to find out why this is happening and what you can do if you are looking for help. She joins us now. Hannah. Alicia Dennis, both of the psychologists I spoke with described calendars chock full of appointments, long wait lists, and dozens of people having to simply be turned away. It's a problem with serious consequences for those looking to tackle their mental health issues. Mental health help has been hard to come by. It's certainly not gotten any easier to access services. People looking for appointments may have to wait weeks or add their name to several waiting lists at different places. If they are finally at a point where they're like, I need help and I need support, and then they can't get an appointment for weeks or months, then you know that certainly takes the air out of their balloon and it feels defeating to them. For those battling things like depression or addiction, having to wait can be dangerous. And delaying mental health treatment means jobs, relationships, and physical health sometimes suffer too. It has so many profound effects on the world and it impacts it um, on so many levels. They say one of the big problems is underfunding, which has also left the field understaffed. My hope is that there will we will see some of that change as we see legislation seek to address uh, the different factors exacerbated by the pandemic. If you're having trouble finding help, obviously we, we strongly encourage people to keep trying to keep calling back. The situation is very fluid. In the meantime, there are things you can do, like using online resources or self care apps, relying on a strong support system of family and friends and making sure you're exercising and eating well. Self care. Um, we've heard all about that through the past two years or so. I know it's nauseating for people to hear, um, but there's little things that you can do to reduce your stress and prioritize your mental health as we wait for for the situation to improve. I'm a psychologist. Like, I, I believe things can get better by the very nature of, of my role and my existence um, and, and the work that I do. So, so certainly I believe it can get better. If you or a loved one does need help, please reach out to your resources. You can text PA to the crisis line number at 741-741. And the number of the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline is 800-273-TALK. We have these resources and even more for you on our website. Live from the studio, Hannah Brand, ABC 27 News.